This poem was occasioned by our recent remembrance ceremony at Wellington Pit on the harbour at Whitehaven. The remembrance ceremony was for an explosion of fire that happened at Wellington Pit in 1910, where 136 men and boys lost their lives. I mourn today 136 men and boys. Their relatives and friends cry surely not again. Their hopes and ambitions cruel fire destroys. So many heroes of old white heaven. 113 years after, we stand mouthing their names, contemplating how they met with disaster in the smoke and the heat of the gas and the flames. Families torn apart with grief and sorrow, black and illustrious Wellington's name. They gave up the promise of any tomorrow. As usual, it was they who shouldered the blame. The infamous friction gear on the main intake set alight by a storm that came from Three North, killing the men who had gone there to work, endangering so many more in its wake. Some far away carried on not know knowing, still filling coal to earn a pittance of a wage, whilst the flames out by were steadily growing, trapping them all in a black coal-lined cage. When the smell of the fire, the smoke and the fumes alerted these men that danger was in every breath, their fate had been sealed in these underground tombs, quietly sitting or lying, waiting for rescue or death. So many heroes tried to fight the fire in the mine, their bravery shown by 60 Edward medals earned that day, the miners VC for putting their lives on the line. Beaten back by the flames, they had to give way. The order was given to seal up the mine, provoking a riot by those who waited above. Not wanting to give up, they thought it a crime to seal up and abandon the ones they loved. When the mine was reopened, the recovery began. The scenes were horrific for men to behold. A father cradling his son and his friend United in death, the saddest tale I have told. And now a group of elderly miners stand at the pit head and remember their names. While we remain, they will not be forgotten. Their memory and sacrifice to call still remains. For the miners tied to his brother cannot be broken, though others move on and try to forget. The camaraderie and the love is unspoken forged on the ground in the dangers they met. Thank you.